thoughts on gay people? Uh, we are open. Open mind. Generally, no. we are not gay. I think it is paranormal. Uh, I have a little problem with that, with that people. It's... Well, I don't know, I don't like that. I don't like it. no. Four years ago, Mary Lou, the owner of Guglias, brought this nightclub to downtown Athens from Berlin. It is the first drag club in the city where it gives both a crowd of old and young a taste of what drag culture is like. In just a couple of years, Google has transitioned from being an underground club to a mainstream spot of nightlife and entertainment. But LGBTQ people still face discrimination today. I was 16 and I felt like myself. I felt like, okay, Spiros, you're gay. I went to my school. I was like going up the stairs and I heard my school principal saying stuff like, Spiros, come to the office right now. And when I got to the office, she was like, no, I will not let you say to your classmates that you're gay. Max was born as Maria and into a very conservative Greek Orthodox family. After making the decision to transition into a man, he rarely speaks to his mother and no longer has a connection to his siblings. My mom tried to be calm, but she said that you're going to change and you're going to do what I want to do because that's the right thing to do. Then we talked about it again and it didn't go well. Um, she really believed that I'm not a homosexual or something like that, that this is like the devil's force or something. Yeah, and this, this was me like in junior high or something. Honestly, I don't know if I have any hope that things are gonna change. I used to think that, yeah, they're gonna accept me sometime, but right now, um, I don't think so. Over the years, Europe has experienced a decline in religion, specifically Christianity. Greece still remains the most religious country in the EU, but the youth are not as religious as in past generations. As a child, I liked some good parts of being involved with the church, like going in camp. Right now, I don't believe it. I really don't, I don't think it does any well. Seven out of the 28 countries in the European Union do not allow for gay marriages. Greece is one of the countries on the list, though there is a form of civil union. For some, the idea of same-sex marriage is believed to stem from American influence. <laughs> But not everyone believes this conservative attitude benefits a country that is suffering from economic ruin. I doubt if the, if, uh, the present conservatism will continue. I'm not quite sure, and I hope that it will not. Because uh, the conservative society uh, cannot analyze uh, in depth the social issues. They interact between friends of different sexes 
um, more uh, easily than the old generation of people. The stance uh, which this new generation will bring uh, in front to the society will be different than that of the conservative which seems to prevail at the time being. One of the many organizations trying to combat this present-day conservatism is Rainbow School. Its mission is to educate and answer questions surrounding sexual orientation and gender identity in the current education system. I, I was uh, raised in an environment that, you know, it was much more homophobic, biphobic, and transphobic than it is today. Even after many years, George still remembers the words that one of his school teachers told him. Oh, George. We're gonna, we're gonna get you to raise a few sacks of uh, cement and then you're gonna man up, you're gonna be more, you know, wild. So they're not gonna bully you anymore. But George has not lost sight of his mission, just like the LGBTQ community in Greece. He continues to live day to day like a warrior. I'm here because I'm very much motivated to educate the, the community of the educators and the community of children, you know, and uh, um, people who attend Greek schools uh, so that, you know, they can enter into a new era of acceptance. Although people are listening to the LGBTQ in Greece, their efforts are often taken the wrong way. The day after the conference, Gunanis was on the front page of a far-right newspaper. It attacked both the organization and Gunanis. The headline read, Men wearing high heels are trying to teach homosexuality to children. I was extremely frustrated. I felt like, you know, our safe space was violated. So, yeah, it felt bad. I felt hurt. Acceptance. That's all they asked for. The future for the LGBTQ in Greece is still unclear. But they continue to fight for equality in the country they live. I'm Barbara Strada, reporting from Athens.